They come in from the ceiling. They come from the window, from the wall. Hey everyone, I'm here with Ashley and Jeff, and we are talking about Overwatch's Retribution event, which is the new co-op PvE mode that is a timed event here. So the four characters that we lock, uh, that are in the locked version of this, are Moira, Genji, Reaper, and McCree, uh, who have gone on sort of this ill-fated Blackwatch mission. Surprise, uh, Race shoots the guy uh, and alerts every single guard in Venice, and then they have to flee the premises. Uh, it's a little different from last year's event. You know, you had Reinhardt, so you had some tanks. You don't have a tank in this one. Uh, so it's a little difficult to uh, keep things, to, to keep your team sustained, especially on the harder difficulties. And as you're moving through Venice with these four characters, you encounter a few different unique enemies. And aside from the regular, just gun-toting, sort of almost Soldier 76-esque characters, there are some special mini bosses. Can you talk about those a bit? Yeah, there's a, there's a sniper with laser sights. And the sniper bounces around between sort of the high ground in each zone. I think the best thing to do is just flank them. So you can just use Reaper's teleport, his repositioning to get behind the sniper and easily whittle down its health. And then there's also an assassin. Do you wanna talk about the assassin, Jeff? So the assassin's actually really interesting because it does a few different things that the other mini bosses don't do. It has really high mobility. So it's constantly bouncing off the walls and latching onto walls. And if it gets close enough to you and attacks you, it actually pins you down and sort of whittles your health away. It feels sort of like what happens when you get attacked at Left 4 Dead as a, with a zombie. If you are pinned down by the assassin, you definitely can't use Reaper's Wraith ability to escape. Uh, one of the, actually, the things I like the most is actually waiting for the assassin to land on the ground and hit it with McCree's stun grenade. That's actually a really good way to get it. Even if your friend is getting attacked, hit it with a stun grenade and that stuns it and that will allow the rest of the team to attack the assassin. There is a heavy assault guy who is who does um, a Reinhardt kind of pin. Yeah, he had a Reinhardt pin, and then he sort of had a, a wild-ass machine gun mm -hmm. attack, sort of bullet-spraying attack that was very, very bad. Uh, so it's really weird is that the tank will actually melee you and knock you across the map if you get too close. So I think what people might want to do is, you know, try to get behind it with Reaper. And that's good until it turns does a swinging back fist and knocks you across the map or into the water when you first encounter it. So it's good to kind of keep your distance and have it constantly rotating. So it, it, it has a difficult time trying to focus on a single character. Uh, and what about the characters that we're playing as? So as we said, it's Moira, Reaper, McCree, and Genji. Uh, do you have any advice for the Moiras out there, Ashley? spray like your life depends on it just keep spraying i mean <laughs> i don't know about you but sometimes i do forget to spray my friends always spray your friends abs always be spraying mm -hmm. s y f spray your friends uh what about uh reapers what should the reaper players be looking out for so a handful of times the enemies will clump up together and that's where reaper really does a good job of just kind of shooting everyone at once that's what his shotguns are good for uh, but yeah, I think it's the thing is like to not get too aggressive with him, especially when you're playing on the harder modes, because you can get taken down pretty quickly, even by the smaller enemies. But definitely take advantage of that and try to pair that with you know a uh, McCree who's shooting from far away. Also, Reaper's alt is definitely better placed on yeah, like Jeff said, groups of enemies. I've tried to use his uh, Death Blossom against the heavy assault guy, but it didn't do a ton of damage despite, you know, Yeah, what it happened, being he he did knock you when you did that. So if he yeah. gets close to you when you can't really move and you're doing death, death blossom, it becomes pretty pointless. But using Reaper's ult on the the basic enemies was amazing because like you said, Jeff, they do tend to group up in these big, big silly clumps of people. And it's just like, it's fodder for a Reaper. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, what about McCree? What should McCree players be aware of on this map or on this mode? He's actually in some ways pretty good at damage control. So again, when people group up his flashbang is actually really good for just knocking out a good group of people all together. Uh, you won't be able to kill all of them, of course, but if you're, you know, if you're working with your Reaper, that's a really good opportunity just to kind of take out a big wave of people as they come through a door, jump from a ceiling. And can you speak to what Genji players should be aware of? Don't get aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, it's your inclination to kind of get in there and, and you think it's fodder, you know, they're fodder characters, so Genji can kind of tear through them, but Genji being Genji, Genji can also get torn up pretty quickly. Even though he does jump around and he is super mobile, um, it can be hard also for Moira players to target for healing. 
I mean, you can kind of throw an orb there, but um, mm-hmm. as you've seen, sometimes the orb just sails away. You know, he also, in a way, can snipe with his, his shuriken, so that's a good thing to try doing. A dragon Blade probably will be better against mini bosses. That's probably one of the best alts to use, because even Deadeye doesn't kill him instantly, Death Blossom doesn't kill him instantly, and Coalescence won't, but... Dragon Blade's probably good for chunking down their life pretty quickly. I think that'd be my main takeaway from watching you two play is that the ults are best saved for the minor characters and the way that you got those special mini bosses down was basically by whittling them away with your your regular attacks and that seemed to work pretty well. Uh, so another thing that's interesting, you might notice that there's no mercy in here so you can't res anybody but thankfully every time someone goes down anyone in the team can res someone else which is really great. So there's no need to like be too precious. I mean, of course you should be precious and not try to get killed. But in the case that someone does go down, anyone in your team can take advantage of resing them. So don't feel like you have to rely on Moira being the only person who can protect people. You can protect each other. All right, those are our starting tips for playing the Overwatch Retribution event. Thanks everyone for watching this video and make sure that you subscribe to Polygon. We'll also have some gameplay going up later this week. Thanks everyone.